Sylvia Olden Lee, 100 years old. Hello, I'm Connie Com with Philly Cam Voices here at Carnegie Hall in New York. We'll be honoring the 100th birthday of Sylvia Olden Lee. Uh, she was a woman who made the breakthrough for African Americans at the Met. She was the first African American to work there. So on her 100th birthday, we are very proud to present a tribute, a musical tribute to Sylvia Olden Lee. On June 29th, there will be a 100 year birthday celebration for one of the African American pioneers in the field of classical music, Sylvia Olden Lee. Miss Lee lived from 1917 to 2004. She was among the best vocal coaches and one of the great teachers of the past century. She was the go-to person in Europe and the United States for countless promising singers trying to make a breakthrough in the world of opera or concert recitals. She said, Everett, you have to sing uh, uh, about the dying Christ the same as you would sing it when you sang where you're there from the same emotional spot. You're not German, but you approach it in the, in the correct style, but your emotional framework has to be from you, which is an African-American. And it was like a light bulb went off in my head. And from then on, everything I approached, and when she would speak about that, I would go back to those spirituals and go back to those things that I had grown up with, and I would use that, all that richness of my background into the music. Her extraordinary accomplishments include, at the age of 16, in March of 1963, she played the piano for the first inauguration of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Miss Lee was the first woman, as well as the first African-American professional employed by the Metropolitan Opera in New York. That began in 1954 as a vocal coach. Miss Lee was instrumental in bringing Marian Anderson to the Metropolitan Opera in 1955. Miss Lee worked with world acclaimed singers, including Elizabeth Schumann, Paul Robeson, Gerhard Husch, William Warfield, George Shirley, Jesse Norman, and Kathleen Battle. Mrs. Lee wouldn't give her consent to anything if the person who was singing didn't understand what he or she was singing about. And I really have to laugh when I say this because so many times she would say, and I'm sure she said this for everyone she worked with, <laughs> uh, what does this mean? You don't understand what this particular word means? She would say, go home and translate it word for word. And don't come back until you know what everything is written above it. Don't come back until you cut and have it done, but I want to see you tomorrow morning. Dr. Estes, um, next month we're celebrating the 100th birthday of Sylvia Olden Lee. How would you describe her spirit? Sylvia Lee was a lady who had what I would call a holy spirit, a spirit that was inspired by a gift that God gave her to play the piano of classical music and opera. To my knowledge, she has been up to the time that I started singing the only African-American female coach of opera and classical music. And also, I don't know of any woman, male or female, African-American and non-African-American, that a concert has been given or will be given in her honor because of her contribution to music and especially to young people to be a good director and educator for them. So on June 29, 2017, on the occasion of Sylvia's 100th birthday, there will be a classical concert in her honor here at Carnegie Hall.